welcome to another episode of me completing the Train Sim World 2020 edition. Um, so we're going to be continuing the journey again um, from where we left off. So we're doing Hereford to London Paddington. Uh, so let's go straight into it. So um, from what I can make out from the trophy list, um, this is really working towards um, traveling i think 1660 miles in the class 166 um and then i think cuz i've done a few the last few videos have been the same sort of train so i might move on to something else just to kind of spice things up a little bit um right so let's try and remember how to uh, get this going. Get the lights on. Uh, so we're stopping off at Slough this time, 17 miles. So it's about half the distance of the last one. Um, so then from Slough, we go to Paddington. So this should be a, a shorter video. Unless I screw up, which is highly possible. Um, right, so we got a 40 mile an hour speed limit. So in the last one, we we kind of hovered around the 90 mile an hour mark. Uh, never achieved 100. We'll see how we go. But yeah, um, obviously we've got no rain, uh, so it's a nicer looking run so far. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I know it, it is taking a step back from having played Train Sim World 2 on the PS4 and the PS5 versions. Um, but yeah, it's it's oddly addictive. I, I think it is a an acquired taste. Um, whether or not part of it is fueled by the the burning desire to get all these trophies, I don't know. Obviously I might get pissed off after a while. Um, But yeah, it's enjoyable so far. Um, I think all in all I've spent about two hours on this so far. Um, in terms of actually playing it, like there was a few hours before um, getting the ride in the rail trophy or whatever it was called, um, just as a passenger. I'm not sure if I've been to Slough in this before. I think maybe we passed through. My memory is terrible though. But yeah, I'm hoping everyone's enjoying this uh, this series. Um, be a shame if you're not because uh, it's going to be here for a while. Um, so I did have a look and um, on average it's expected to be 302 hours for the Platinum. Um, I don't know how much more time is added on for the additional uh, 69 trophies. A lot of those I'm locked out on at the moment because I don't own the DLC. Um, but there's a lot of content here to make do with for now. Uh, I think there's about eight routes all in all I've got for this so far. We'll have a look probably in the next video, just a recap. And then I think Train Sim World 2, I've got 12.
so th this one, it looks like we might get close to 100 mile an hour, possibly, because we seem to be getting up towards 90 a lot quicker than last time. I wonder if it's because we're, we're not as weighted down, maybe got uh, less cars. Yeah, it's a shorter train. I need to get better at doing the cameras. Very cumbersome having to do the Holden R3 and choosing it from like a sort of radial menu. I think the um the collectibles will probably be the one of the more time consuming non train specific uh, ones although there is a car collector um, for Kaplan to I think it's almost 400 cars Yeah, I think um, there's a trophy for every route as well for collecting all of the the pickups. Um, so I think that's like I think it works out to be about a hundred on each one. There's like 25 maps, and then the others are sort of route specific. So some will be like health and safety signs. That's uh, a longer train there. Alright, so we're still hovering on 90. We're not really... I think the only way we're going to get higher than that really is if we're on a steep downwards path. And even then, the speed probably will peter out when we get back onto an even terrain. It's just over nine miles to go for this first stop. So aside from episode one, uh, and I think this is episode four now, um, episode one we, we had a fairly decent run and then towards the end it got quite eventful. Trouble is, the, the problems are where the content's at. Something that I'll no doubt have uh, the pros on, on these games with their heads in their hands. Just over seven miles now. And I, th I think it's just that one train that's passed us. It's not a particularly uh, busy length of track. So 
so we're expected in slow there's a second trim uh, it's expected in slow at uh, 16 minutes past three we got uh, just over six minutes to go And yeah, we've still not broken over 90 mile an hour. Not even a smidge. I don't even think I've been to slow in real life. Um, although I've never really had any cause to I guess um, again being perfectly honest my geography is terrible so I'm not entirely sure where Slough actually is well, that's another place name that would be misleading because uh, other places in the UK with an L-O-U-G-H uh, uh, part in it um, sometimes gets pronounced as Lough so that could have been Slough uh, another train okay so it seems to be getting a bit busier it's a shame the textures just aren't there they're not loading in quick enough and I am playing this on a PS5, but obviously it's not um, it's not got any sort of enhancements for that. But yeah, I was uh, after mentioning um, how there's no Wales routes. Um, I know on the forums there's uh, quite a demand for them. A few people have put together some ideas for what they would like quite detailed as well it's it's quite insane seeing all these different uh, suggestions with you know images of the trains that are used or the stations or just you know segments of the route a lot of people have a, a lot of time and patience um, but I suppose if it's something they're passionate about then uh, of course, it, it just comes naturally. I wonder what this looks like on uh, PC, because I, I know obviously there's there's probably tips and tricks on how to change things that you can't on console, um, plus obviously the, the mod community and things like that. Um, I think it's probably safe if I uh, just start slowing down a little bit. I think I'll make a, a save right here as well just to be a bit cautious. Post for a little bit now. Drop it down. At least there's no red light at the end of the station, so um, it won't be a complete failure if I overshoot. Yeah, it'd be good if there's like an additional feature for people like me that just kind of um, shows you when to start slowing down and, and obviously what sort of speeds you want to be doing at the certain intervals rather than just the speed limits. I know obviously for the proper... Um, 
devout fans. But you know, if it was a setting you can turn on and off, just like with the HUD. Um, you know, because some people love playing it without any of the uh, the aids on. Uh, so 15.32 we're expected in at Paddington, so this bit's going to be a, a long one. But not a bad run so far. I hope... Um, the the game has a way of tracking the mileage I've done that I can see. Um so I know I know I'm nowhere near the the trophy total yet. Um but just we've gotta be gotta be over a hundred miles in on on this train, I would say. I mean the the last run was thirty five miles in itself. So just gonna wait a little bit. Just go off a little bit slow. I don't like waiting. I think again there's probably people that that will stick to um the objectives but um for me it's it's painful especially given that I can't break over 100 mile an hour <laughs> So based on the timetable, this um, this part of the journey should be 15 minutes there or thereabouts. But the fact I've left early should shave a bit off. I haven't noticed that in any of the other games with the audio switching from ear to ear. So 17 miles for this uh, this next bit. See if we just cap off at 90 again or if we can break a little bit faster. Yeah, I've been sitting on the idea of doing this for some time, um, and I was really excited to do it, but I think the announcement of um, Train Sim World 4, 100 miles, nice, um, I suppose some of it might have not tracked again, because th there were a couple segments where I was speeding, and that seems to be a thing if you're speeding any distance you travel over, like when you're in the red, I think, if you're in... The amber, I think it's okay. I'm not 100% on that though, so don't quote me. Um, but yeah, uh, I think TSW4 um, kind of made me think, right, if I don't do it now, then I'll never do it. Um, and there's probably not much demand for people to watch an older version, but then, you know, I suppose it's it's what I'm doing is it's not your usual like I mean ultimately yes I'm driving trains from one place to another um but but mine is with the the trophies in mind and I suppose if if I do inadvertently stumble into good ways of doing things and and other people are trying to achieve the same um then if if any of the content 
within my videos helps towards that and that's a nice little bonus. So that's the thing I've found in, in terms of any game, not just this uh, this game series, but any game really. People have their own take, they have their own way of doing things. Um, I mean, I, I suppose I'm a dirty casual, if you want to look at it that way. And I'm not ashamed of that. Um, I... I at the end of the day it's what you get the enjoyment from that that matters so if if you enjoy you know sort of the i guess hardcore mode of having the hat off and and playing this as like proper serious i mean to be fair you you kind of do have to play this semi serious anyways because there there's a lot of elements for failure like obviously if you run a red it's it's not like in GTA where it's like all right you know, the, the aim of the game is to drive dangerously there. Um, but there's there's no consequence. Like, even even police cars, if they're parked at the red light, uh, stopped at the red light, sorry, um, they won't chase you. Some games do. Um, like Need for Speed and stuff like that, I'm sure they... I don't know if they do it in the newer versions, but, you know, there, there was a consequence of doing it. They say... So you, you could spend however long on a journey and if you mess up right at the end that's it you got to start all over again because that journey's null and void so i like the the element of consequence but i do also like the save feature and whether or not that will cause me issues down the line pardon the pun um which is ironic or coincidental uh, whatever uh, given that I messed up on the, the down the line uh, journey scenario, whatever. Um, but you know, you you are limited to on the rails, and um, there's only so much you can do. I've got. Um, the real life simulator game as well which seems to have like sort of um more business management elements to it i guess kind of like um bus simulator or bus driver simulator which i can't remember the name of it now um i streamed that a bit i think there's a, a video or two on my channel of of some of that as well But I, I think one of the, the main things here is watching it for the inevitability of me fucking up and my reaction to to that and um, the comical value, I guess. But so far, we've, we've done all right. Just that one so far. But when I move on to the other routes, because that's the thing, as, as soon as I change trains and um, I've got a different type of challenge then there's there's new hurdles there's new opportunities to screw up Yeah, still not sure what sort of time period um, we're in for this uh, this route. I don't know if it's like maybe 90s possibly. Like the trains don't seem that old. So, so perhaps it's even contemporary in terms of uh, release. You know, sort of 2019, 2020 time. You can't really gauge it based on the NPCs. 
because I think their their outfits and that don't necessarily reflect the the time. I could be wrong. But like I haven't seen folk rock in shell suits to imply it's sort of seventies, eighties. And obviously the emphasis isn't really on the world around you, it's the the trains, the uh, the look and feel of, of them. So, I think 90 seems to be our limit with this fella. I think the only way it might be able to push over that is without any cars attached at all. I think I'll chuck a, another sneaky save in there. Um, oh, actually, how do I... Oh, I thought that would put it up top. Okay, that's handy without having to pause all the time to see that. Especially on routes where I've got several stops. Oh, we've got a train going our way. Haven't seen that on uh, on this playthrough, I don't think. Like, you know, the, the, the episodes that we've done. We're going faster than it. But it's probably stopping here, that's why. There was a blue thing there. I think that might be for like a scenario or a journey. Again, there's graffiti there, so I, I don't know if that would be era specific. But then again, the the route has its era, era so. Um, Normally, I, I don't think roots have different eras. It's it's the theme for the whole thing. So it's got to be relatively modern then, because I don't think graffiti was really that big a thing until maybe eighties onwards. That type, anyway. But again, that could just be generic, it's not necessarily um, going to be unique to the area. Like I don't think the devs would have prioritised um, mapping out the actual graffiti used. Right, so we're going to have to drop to 50 in just under a mile and a half. So if I start coasting now... Oh, I wasn't coasting, was I? Chuck it into break one. I think I might need to knock it out of two. There, that should 
But yeah, so far, um, again, I'm hoping I'm not jinxing this, um, but that's not been a bad little run. So we should be on track for uh, another gold on this. Although I don't think golds matter so much in this one. I don't recall seeing a trophy pertaining to uh, having a, a particular number of gold medals. Um, I could be mistaken, but you know, that should happen naturally anyway if it is a thing, it's not something I need to particularly uh, aim for. I hope uh, this doesn't really affect the, the listening pleasure for you by doing this. I'll try to avoid it. I wonder if it's just this train or if it happens in uh, in all of them. Like I said, I haven't noticed it in uh, TSW 2 or 3. So even though I left early, um, we're cutting it fine time-wise here. That must be down to the fact that we weren't able to hit 100 mile an hour or above. Unless it's somehow adapted to the time I actually left. I don't think it does that though, but again, I could be mistaken. <laughs> Dead on time. Well, one second, because of the door. Have I not unlocked the right doors? That seems a bit random. Because we're... I opened the right side and the platform is on the, the right side. Bizarre. Hello. See, I like the look of those ones. What are they? Are they the class six six? Doesn't say. Don't think. Ooh. Or is that the HST? I think there's one called the HST. Uh, right. I think I figured out the wiper problem. I think I was holding on to the left on the D-pad um, when doing that bit. But there we go. So that's another journey done. Another gold medal. 
very nice and almost level seven again i don't think there's driver level uh related trophies in this one again i could be wrong but i don't recall seeing any um but that should do it for another video so uh, as i said i think that's um number 43 done um oh we're moving on to another train so maybe i'll stick with uh this route but we'll try the uh the class 43 in the next one but yeah as always if you enjoyed please make sure you hit like and subscribe and uh, drop some comments in again giving me some ideas on things to do try and um we'll take it from there but uh yeah have a good one and i'll catch you on the next one